It's the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, beginning at verse 1, and it reads, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Verse 3, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And the keepers of the house are these economists because they keep up with the, uh, you know, they look at the lifeblood of the economy of, of this country because what allows this country to live and to flow is currency, the money. And being that the money is being broken down, that's why we're saying this place is on its way out. This place is dying. It says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, because they seeing the outlook and the forecast of this place. They seeing more than you laymans and you, you, you know, you copper tops and you just regular Joe Schmo Edomites and, and two third niggas, you know, what y'all can't see, you know, spiritually or, you know, with your eyes, you know, you're under the heavy spells and enchantments. You know, the devil tells y'all everything's okay, it's going to be all right, yet and still all these different things are taking place, you know, you know, you see smoke coming, you know, from a burning building, and you, you in the building, <laughs> but you told to sit down, you know what I mean, it's okay, it's just because they're telling you that you believe in it, it says, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, so when you go into the grinders ceasing, it goes into employment. I forget the Greek word, but it means so lucky the Hebrew word, but it goes into jobs or employment. So it's talking about the job ceasing because they are few. And right now we're seeing less and less employers hiring and, and, and more and more employers letting staff go. Now, although you'll see paperwork saying that, you know, jobs, they, 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 they increased in the number of jobs and they did this and did that. But you got to understand, you're dealing with the devil. So the devil, he, you know, his main tactic is deceit. So he knows how to manipulate and, and, and lie to you without, he can give you an answer that's a lie because it's not the, the full truth. Put it like that. So, yeah, they have created jobs, but if you created part-time jobs as opposed to losing a certain percentage of full-time jobs, what did you really create? It says, and the grinders cease because they are few, and, and those that look out of the window, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. And again, that's going back to those economists seeing that there's no future in this place. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the dirtles of music shall be brought low you know and we constantly bring out with this scripture how we live in a time where music is like of the poorest quality it's been in you know forever so with that being said I want to give all praise all honor all glory to call loyum la yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rachak, with us with a thumb. I want to say double honor to my apostles, the elders of the Great Millstone, who teach and do rule well. I want to say peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, not more so than ever. I say shalom to the Akim and the Akwat out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations. For whom subscribe to this truth. To you I say Shalom. It's your brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church. Fellow servant. And I'm coming at you with another lesson through the spirit. And through the power of Yahweh Shem Shai. This lesson is in regards to um, an article I just came across. And it's going into um, yet again another company laying off workers. Um, and this is a company that we've all heard of because they get a lot of you know publicity you know they spend a lot of money on ads you know so you know let me get the article it says out of the hill it says geico to lay off six percent of workforce nationwide internal letter firms now i came across this by watching this um, keeper of the house named john williams 
and the number although it sounds insignificant six percent you know they do that so people don't understand how much of a great of a number is being laid off and isn't you know geico employs a lot of people but when i was um thinking about and listening to it you know you got to understand geico deals with insurance so if see people can't even <laughs> you know what i mean like insurance is for those moments when you know those what they say the what if moments you know so you don't take a total loss you might you know you might have insurance on a car you damage the car and you are, are allowed to you know basically it's like saving up pennies for a rainy day because you're paying your insurance premiums and shit like that each month you paying your insurance and you may never have an accident you know you go to um like um down south when the levees broke in louisiana and all that and um basically you had people that had insurance and then that time when they needed to use insurance you know they basically said that they didn't have flood insurance so you know a lot of insurance companies got over like that but they talk about how insurance you know um actually is a lucrative business at sometimes because everybody doesn't you may pay on something that you never have to use but if they are laying people off <laughs> that work at the insurance company you know what i mean what does that say about you know this place in general you know so when these big um because you know you about to have more and more trouble coming you know scripture talk about evil and only evil is coming 